from me and my mattress. This is our guest fold-up mattress that we had been keeping at my mom's for when we used to stay at her place. We're actually gonna bring back to our house because Drew's nieces are coming over and our air mattress deflated, so we're using that. But I actually just left my mom's, which is where I got the mattress, and oh, hold on. It doesn't look like it on camera, but I can see out of all of my windows. I can see out of my rear view mirror. I can see out of my back windshield, so like don't panic. I think it's just the angle of the camera, but I just left my mom's and spent a lovely little morning with her. We had breakfast together. We just chatted. I got ready over there. I woke up this morning pretty early because Layla has to take her new liver medication an hour before she eats And so I have to get up pretty early. I'm an early riser anyways I'm just I'm always the first person awake like after the sleepovers on family events Like I'm just I'm just an early riser. Oh, this thing is falling So I got up did my workout really early. It felt really good did one of the EMK fit videos Which I did on my main channel. I did the Jonas Brothers dance workout, which was really fun Fun. And then headed to my mom's. I sat in about 45 minutes of traffic, which was super lame, but then just got to spend like an hour and a half with her. Grabbed that mattress. Now I'm on my way to Scottsdale. Um, I'm getting my brows redone today, which I'm really excited about. But also before I do that, I'm meeting up with an Instagram friend for the first time. Her name's Maddie and we've been friends on Instagram, honestly, at least since 2018. Um, she's the sweetest ever and she's in town. So I thought while she was here, you know, she asked if we could meet up and she could give me something. So I think she got me a gift which is really sweet so i'm gonna meet up with her at a coffee shop that's like literally down the street from where i get my brows done and then i'm jetting back home because drew's nieces have a half day today at school and they're coming over on their half day like for the second half of the day drew's sister and her husband have a bunch of like errands to run and we love having any excuse to have them over so they're gonna hang with us for a little bit and actually i'm pretty sure by the time i get home they will actually already be there drew's working from home today so he's able to just kind of like hang out and watch them while they like watch a movie or whatever. I'm still getting used to my darker hair. I don't know if I'm gonna like talk about it in every single vlog, but um, like even when I saw my mom this morning, she was like, your hair is brown. I was like, right? My mom was like, it doesn't look at all like it looked last time. I'm like, I agree. So I don't know if she did something different, um, but I don't love it. So we'll see. I'm just hoping that it continues fading, but like my hair, I'm straight up like practically a brunette. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I really loved the way that the last color was because it was red and then it faded to like a really pretty strawberry, but right now I feel like it's just kind of brown, so I don't know. The girl who does my hair is amazing, so it could have just been because she left the product on my hair for like way longer this time, so it would stick longer because it pretty much all washed out in like two washes last time. So I'm sure that's what happened, um, but it's just like a lot darker than I expected. Okay, let's continue our day. See you shortly. Okay, whoops, I just left our coffee date. Oh, I should probably turn this down, it's probably loud. I completely forgot to film anything, um, and I really would have loved to get a little clip with Maddie because she is so sweet. I literally got a gift basket from her. I'm sorry, what? I'm literally gonna show you everything that's in here. Like, this is the nicest thing anyone's done for me. I can't with the mattress, we're just, it's fine. She left me the nicest card with the kindest words inside. We have Temptations Meaty Bites, bag of cat treats for Moo, and then a Pop-Tart treat for Layla. <laughs> She's gonna love that. We have some car air fresheners. They're like these little desert themes. Um, So cute, I'm literally gonna put one in my car right now. Citrus Blossom, I think, is the smell. Oh. It smells like this um, body shop lotion that I used to have in like seventh grade. It was like the Satsuma. Oh, that smells so good. Um, we have two bath bombs. This one is a prickly palm and this one is beach daisy. How cute, cause she knows I like baths. She got me a headband, this little like crochet headband with flowers. Oh, sorry if there's like a glare. I have my windshield thing on. My lash technician is running uh, 15 minutes late. Okay, also we have this mug, which says here comes the sun. George Harrison is my favorite beetle. This is so nice. We have a little makeup bag that has like the checkered print. So stinking cute. There was also a little headband in here that's like a skincare headband. You know, she said she uses it when she self tans, things like that. We have a little checkered claw clip. Like I can't get over how nice this is. I'm dead. There's also a candle. This is agave coconut candle. <laughs> oh. My God, it smells so good. Oh, also a dress. 
a literal dress. It's like a cute little slip dress with daisies on it. Also, she got me this adorable necklace and it's really similar to the one I had on when I was on my way here, but this one has a smiley face on it and she has a matching one. I'm dead, I'm truly dead. I'll link her Instagram down below. Um, she's just such a positive, supportive, wonderful person. And Maddie, if you're watching this, I love you. Thank you so much for this. This is literally the nicest, most thoughtful gift I've ever been given. I'm obsessed, I'm seriously obsessed. Okay, so I'm gonna head inside. That was so wonderful. I'm so glad that we were able to like coordinate a time to see each other. I was kind of all over the place this week with my planning, but I'm so, so, so glad I got to see her. That was so wonderful. And I also got to meet Noxie who was there with her. So that was just a great day. Wow, what a fantastic way to start the morning. I mean, I've already had a full day today and it's 11.30. But I'm gonna head into my brow appointment. Here's a little before and we'll see you soon for the after. And here we are, here is the after. Are you joking? This is a weird angle to be showing my face, but like, look how stunning this is. I'm dead. Chelsea is amazing. I'm gonna mention it again like I did before. Oh, my necklaces are tangled. Her business is called Tinted Brow Bar and she's in Scottsdale. I'm gonna leave her information linked down below, her Instagram, and she's the best. Like, my brows? Are you kidding me? They look so good. Like. They look so good. She did a little bit more of like a natural than last time. Last time they were a bit more bold. This time they're like slightly more natural. So they'll still be lighter when I wash them tomorrow. But how cute is this? Okay, gonna head back home, get this baby home, and then have a nice fun family night. We were on top. We were on top of the world. We were... Anyways, I got something for you. It's from your friend Maddie. Do you want to see? <gasps> what is it? It's a pop tart. Isn't it? Do you love it? Let me open it. Hold on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's crying for it. There you go. Bye bye. She said, This mine. Do you love it? Oh, you really love it. So cute. <laughs> She's running after it, literally. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> wow. She's taking this away from you. And Moo. She got something for you too, Moo. <laughs> yeah, they're for you. You want one? There you go. Oh, yeah, it's good. Say thank you, Maddie. <laughs> Good morning, it is actually like almost a week later um, and I just got ready faster than I maybe ever have in my entire life. Something with ADHD that I've learned from you all is called time blindness and you can sometimes be like really unaware of what time it is and how much time you have until you have to get ready. So I got carried away editing a video and then I was like, oh shit. <laughs> and then I was like doing my workout and I was like dilly dallying afterwards and then I was like, oh shit. So anyways, just showered, I'm still sweating. Like that's how fast I got ready. I just threw on like a very casual outfit to go get my hair done. Um, we'll talk about it in the car, but yeah, I'm going to the salon to get my hair fixed. And I'm wearing my favorite necklace. It's from like Target or something, I'm not sure. This thrifted tank top, my high-waisted American Eagle or Airy flare leggings, and my mustard Converse to match. Oh, and my earrings are from also Target, maybe? I might have gotten these on Amazon, I'm not sure. Okay, I'll find out and link them below, let's go. Come on, miss girl, come on, come on, let's go. Go inside, go, 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 go. Thank you. You be a good girl. <laughs> Mo, you be good too. Mo is in his favorite spot, which is in the window by Drew's desk. But Drew is in the office today because it's his last day at work. Okay, we'll talk, I gotta go. Okay, we're a bit more situated now. Um, anyways, I'm on my way to get my hair done because my hairstylist actually reached out to me. She saw me post a photo on Instagram and she DM'd me and was like, is your hair brown? And I was like, yeah, kind of. And she was like, what the hell? Like, why didn't you tell me? Come in, we're gonna fix it. She's the best. So she immediately was like, no, that's not, it's not turning out how 
I wanted it to. I, you know, it just does that sometimes. And the girl who does my eyebrows is also a redhead and she was telling me, her name's Chelsea. She was telling me like, it takes a few times to get the formula right. It's been a busy week because I actually had to bring Layla back to the vet again. Um, we went on Tuesday and Drew was so sweet. He actually like took the last hour and a half off of work just so he could go with me because he knows I get like nervous about that. I just thought that was so sweet. Oh, she's fallen. But it's basically, it was a completely separate issue, I think, maybe, but basically Layla was laying down the other day and like her mouth was open. She was like panting. I think we had just gone on a walk and Drew was like, her tooth, like something is wrong with her tooth. And I looked and she had like one of her very back top molars was like really, really kind of gross. And all the times that I've taken her to the vet, like apparently they've checked her teeth, but Apparently they didn't because apparently and apparently Dad. I've never been on live Dad. television before. I think what ended up happening was so she's had an underbite her whole life and um, like since she was a baby and um, it's just kind of gotten worse as she's gotten older. Her teeth have like basically like started bumping into each other so one of her teeth broke I think when she was like eating or over the course of time or whatever so now it needs to get pulled but the other thing is because her jaw keeps like moving forward because of her underbite her top like incisors have started like biting into her palate so she has to get all of those pulled <laughs> and the tooth pulled and then I think two of her random teeth on the bottom I know so many of you were like Layla's teeth like every time I post a picture and like one of my favorite things about her is her little teeth that stick out on the bottom but two of them have some kind of thing I can't remember what it's called but basically they, they're like moving they're moving and they just need to come out so she's gonna have two bottom teeth pulled all four of her top teeth pulled and then her top like molar pulled and then they're gonna clean what because they have to put dogs under for that like they have to go under anesthesia so they're gonna clean her teeth and anyways that was like a whole separate thing um I've, I've made peace with it they're basically waiting until she finishes the 30 days of her liver medication like her liver detox meds to hopefully get her liver levels down so that we can you know safely obviously the doctors are gonna handle all of that but anyways yeah so now she's getting seven teeth pulled which is crazy that was unexpected but i'm so glad we saw it when we did i feel so bad i guess i've never really looked super far back there recently which is apparently really common but um yeah you're supposed to like regularly get your dog's teeth cleaned she's not in any pain it's not like infected or anything like that it just definitely needs to come out um and it's been there for a while which kind of makes me upset because i like literally just probably three months ago four months ago like paid for an exam and like they're supposed to check their teeth anyways all that to say everything is gonna be good it's just like another another little hurdle but there is obviously as you all know nothing i won't do for my sweet baby angel and yeah in other news today is drew's last day at his job he starts another job we have he basically has like 11 10 days off in between and we're going to la so we're finally getting a chance to go on our belated anniversary trip it's gonna be really fun um and yeah i dropped him off because his car is in the shop and I dropped him off at his mom's this morning because he works with his mom. So this is like his last day working with his mom. So they carpooled to work today. It's so cute. So I dropped him off at his mom's house at like six in the morning. And then I went home, edited an entire main channel video, did my workout and now here we are. So we're current, I think. I don't think there's anything else to update on. I'm driving 27 miles away to go get my hair done. I like live really far away, so I'm kind of just used to having a 45 minute drive, like no matter where I go, like meeting a friend for coffee, getting my hair done, getting any of my laser appointments done, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, anyways, doing some last minute hair revitalization for my anniversary trip and I'm so excited. It's not gonna be like the same as it was before. Like we're not gonna still stay in the same like bougie hotel and do all that stuff. We're um, still going to Disneyland. We're gonna go with Drew's family um, and they're gonna be there for like two or three days but we're going one of the days they'll be there and we've been going to Disney with them since like 2019 so that'll be really, really fun. I'm very excited about that and then um, just like doing our thing, hanging out with our friends. We're staying in like the same hotel that we stayed in back in December so it's nice. It's just not the like, you know, <laughs> very, very bougie one which was like so expensive anyways. And then yeah, we'll have like this weekend to ourselves because today's Thursday. We'll have like this whole weekend 
to like chill, relax. I think we're gonna repaint our guest room cause like we painted it and did that like makeover thing a while ago. But now that Drew is gonna be in there like full time, he's full time working from home now. Um, he wants to like repaint it and just have it be like a normal color and you know, all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna redo that and then we'll have like the weekend to chill. Then we'll go to LA during the work week. So like Monday through Friday, we come home on Friday morning and then we'll have the weekend to like rest, recover, and then he starts work again. Crazy! I'm so proud of him. I'm not gonna like share too much, but it's just like a really amazing opportunity. And one of our friends like recommended him for the job, like referred him and we're just so excited. So anyways, okay gonna go get my hair done and hopefully I will be much more bright and coppery the next time you see me. Fingers crossed! All right, just got out. I think you're able to tell in this lighting. I might need to go walk over here in the sun to show it better, but it's definitely lighter. We'll walk over here while all these cars watch me walk. I feel like you can see it a lot better in this light, but it's definitely lighter and more gingery. So yeah, I'm actually quite pleased with it and how it turned out. It's definitely more similar to how it was the first time, so that's really fun. Yeah, you can definitely tell more that it's a lot lighter. She had to basically like remove some of the color and then like add new color and then the next time I go in we're actually gonna like lighten my roots because my roots are getting a little bit dark but yeah the red is back it's definitely more of like a copper which is what I wanted so I'm happy with that and now I'm going to fight traffic home uh, homeward bound gotta go feed the duck oh this ankle yeah come on ginger spice just made it home Threw on a sweatshirt because it's surprisingly kind of chilly outside. It's okay. She thought she heard someone at the door. You gonna show your teeth that are gonna get pulled? So here's a better look at the hair. I guess you could probably see it earlier, but I'm liking it. I just threw a sweatshirt on and I'm actually, well, I fed Layla, let her out, fed Moo, took care of him. And now I'm heading back out because since it's Drew's last day, we're gonna celebrate with his mom. We're going out to dinner with his mom and it's gonna be cute. We're getting some barbecue. So now I'm right back out the door. I'm just so busy. <laughs> this is like the busiest day I've had in a long time. Ooh, in this light, it looks really good. I'm pleased. I'm very happy with this. All right, catch up later. Good morning, it is the next day. It's really early, it's like eight in the morning. I don't know why I sound so tired, but I'm sitting in bed with Moo and I realized I never ended the vlog yesterday. We had a great dinner with Drew's mom and his brother came as well, so that was fun. And I don't know, I kind of wanted to like finish off this vlog with some thoughts because I am re-watching the footage, particularly the footage where I was talking about like explaining Layla's teeth situation. And I found myself getting really annoyed and like maybe you all can help me with this if you work in like the vet field but if you've watched my channel for a while um you know that Layla goes to the vet quite often like between having UTIs throughout her life weight issues you know getting on prescription food um she's had skin allergies when we lived in LA she had three vets she had a dermatologist a surgeon from when she tore her ACL and she was regularly seeing a surgeon and then like her kind of main vet and she would go to the vet like every month and there was a part during the pandemic like when she tore her ACL She was going to the doctor for like surgery x-rays checkups, you know things like that and then her regular vet for just like regular checkups and then her dermatologist every three weeks or four weeks to get like an injection for her allergies. And then like since then, since we moved back to Phoenix, she's been to the vet, you know, a few times um, and like no one has ever mentioned her teeth like <sighs> It just kind of upsets me when like, I don't know, you pay for exams, like especially when you go to a new vet and like they do the exam or they do an annual exam or whatever. And like, I, th I think they're supposed to check for everything. So when the vet had told me that like Layla's tooth had been broken for a really long time, like she was like, this is not new. Like, so she's not in any pain, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, I should have obviously, my responsibility as a pet owner is to like check my pet, of course, 100%. And now I know more about like regularly checking your dog's teeth, which to be honest, I just didn't know about. But I don't know why I'm like kind of upset that seeing so many, like so many. I mean, there are multiple vets that she's seen at all of her vet's offices. Like each of her vet's offices has several vets and she's seen them all. And like, I don't know, it just... It's like so frustrating that after all these years, like 
all these years of bringing her to the vet, especially the last like two to three years, bringing her so regularly to the vet and like no one ever saying anything. Please correct me, like I could totally be in the wrong here. I mean, obviously, like I said, it's my responsibility to check, but it just kind of, I don't know, it frustrates me that like I paid for exams like several times over the years and like no one ever noticed. They like never looked or something. Anyway, these things could probably just easily go under the radar. Like I said, it is like a very back molar, but just kind of annoying. Anyway, I am going to end this vlog here. It's been a very chatty vlog. Lots of chatting. Um, so sorry if you don't like those kinds of things. Sometimes I'm just in a chatty mood, but it's a beautiful morning. I'm gonna do a workout, get outside, enjoy my weekend. And then I think the next vlog you all will be seeing is us in LA or maybe us redoing our guest room first. I'm not sure. We might not even film that, but regardless, I love you. Thank you for being here and I will see you very soon. Bye.